Our question asks, what is the electric potential energy of the group of charges in the figure? As you can see, we have three point charges in this figure. One being the two nanocoulomb charge down here, two being the three nanocoulomb charge up here, and three being the two nanocoulomb charge over there. Now, it's important to know that the potential energy of multiple charges, which is the case in this question, is just the sum of the potential energies due to all pairs of charges. This thought can be represented by this equation here, which can be a little overwhelming, so it's rewritten here in a form that's easier to understand. It basically just means that the overall potential energy is equal to the potential energy between these two plus the potential energy between these two plus the potential energy between these two. Now to solve this, we'll need the value of each charge as well as the distance between each of them. As you can see from the diagram, we already have all of the charges and most of the distances. However, we need to find the distance between charge 1 here and charge 3 here. Now to do this, we'll use simple Pythagorean theorem. The distance between 1 and 3 equals the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared, which if you know your 3, 4, 5 triangle, it will give you 5 centimeters. Now since k is our constant 9 times 10 to the 9th newton meter squared per coulomb squared, we have everything we need to solve the equation, so we just have to plug everything in. Basically what we have here is the potential energy from charge 1 to charge 2 plus the potential energy from charge 2 to charge 3 plus the potential energy from charge 3 to charge 1. Now when you plug everything in it's important to know that your charges should be in coulombs and your distances should be in meters. So for instance in this question everything was given to us in nanocoulombs and centimeters so those will have to be changed to, as I said before, coulombs and meters. Now when you simplify this equation you should get the potential energy from charge 1 to charge 2 equals 1.35 times 10 to the negative 6 newton meters. The potential energy from charge 2 to charge 3 is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 6 newton meters. And the potential energy from charge 3 to charge 1 is 7.2 times 10 to the negative 7th newton meters. When you add that all up you should get 3.87 times 10 to the negative 6th newton meters, which equivalently equals 3.87 times 10 to the negative 6 joules.